my name is Hanan from Jeffco Support. In this video, we are going to discuss how to troubleshoot an issue in which existing artifacts are not getting indexed in X-ray. We will also learn about RabbitMQ, its queues, and workers, and how to better understand this service. In the following example, we will deploy five jar files to my local video repository and see if they get indexed or not. Awesome, now let's check X-Ray. By inspecting the video repository, we can see that all the new jar files were indexed and scanned by X-Ray. The older ones did not. As the UI guides us, we can go to the indexed resources page and search for that repository. Here we can see that indeed, only five out of 15 artifacts, the five we just deployed, were indexed and scanned by X-Ray. We can trigger re-indexing, which is a heavy operation by itself, to see if it will index the remaining artifacts. To further investigate its behavior, we can go to the RabbitMQ Q page under the RabbitMQ UI. RabbitMQ is an open source message worker that Axel uses to manage asynchronous operations. In order to log in to RabbitMQ UI, you will need to navigate to the X host to this port, use the username guest by default and the default password if it was not changed. The default password should appear on the screen and also attach to the video description. There are three main types of queues in RabbitMQ. Queue for new content, for existing content, which is, has the same name for the new content but we exist content suffix and the retry queue for failed messages. In our example, we would like to further troubleshoot why X-Ray is not re-indexing existing content in the repository. We can check the index existing content retry queue, but we can see that it has zero messages. But index existing content queue has one message. Let's take a look. Hmm, no consumers. No wonder nothing got re-indexed. The consumers are worker for that queue, they are configured for each X-ray node. Don't worry, you don't need to go queue by queue in RabbitMQ UI to get the amount of workers. You can get this information either from the support bundle, from the effective general configuration JSON, or using this REST API. The GET request will get us the amount of workers, and the PUT request will modify that. Please note, a restart is required after making those changes. After restarting the service, we can execute this API one more time to get the current amount of workers. Or, just like you configured. We can also check the repository status under the X-ray admin panel. Okay. The repository got re-indexed. This is because the message was already in the queue and we just added consumers. In this video, we discussed this particular queue, but the logic remains similar for other queues as well. I will attach to this video's description a link to a knowledge base article explaining about the different queues in RabbitMQ. I hope you enjoyed this video and found this information helpful.